What is up, YouTube? What is up? It's Big Boy Rabbit coming to you wild and free from East Central Mississippi. What I have for you today is another shipment from RTI. That's right, Royal Tiger Imports. We got one last graw from them because we just had to get it while they have them available. We've always wanted the graw, and now we have them. And uh, we wanted to just get one more of the cavalry graw carbines. And uh, this should be pretty freaking cool. I know y'all are loving seeing these Graw coming from RTI, coming straight out of Africa. Today we're going to be unboxing with a cold steel fin wolf straight back. That's right, a cold steel fin wolf straight back. And they're made in Taiwan, but they're still pretty decent knives. It's in blades orange, so if I drop it, I'll be able to see it on the ground real easy. I've pretty much figured out the shipping method that RTI uses. They bundle up the gun and close this bit this side put in a handful of packing peanuts slide the gun in watch this no packing peanuts on this side ready boom <laughs> no packing peanuts they're all down on the other end it is about a handful as usual but i've heard that they've gotten better at their shipping so it was used to be worse than this what <laughs> all right so what we got holding the uh so what we have holding the uh gun protective barrier altogether is one two three four five six seven eight pieces of tape they used to do three then they went to two then i got on a video about them only using two and now they're sending me guns with eight that's pretty cool i want to see a minimum of three but eight's even better pop this sucker off Why don't y'all step right up so you can get it up close to this thing coming out of the bubble wrap. It's got one, two, it really taped the butt up good. A lot of this tape I just re-put on this on accident when I cut it off the box. There we go. Now, this should be in a taco and then wrapped up. Hey, they sent me the right gun today. I see that brass. And they oiled it, so this one's probably going to be really nasty. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Look at this, folks. Oh, yeah. It's barrel. That's the worst barrel we've had so far. Of course, no rear sight, but most of them don't have rear sights. Uh, the brass bands are very pretty, though. Uh, it's just super pitted all over the barrel. And look at that. Look what we got. It's a cleaning rod. How cool. An original cleaning rod sitting right there on the gun. And we got the brass hand guards okay it's not that loose but it does look bent up a bit the uh wrist looks good of course it's missing the plug these would just fall out and in the 1950s and 60s they said that they'd put a drop of holy water in here to bless the rifles but it's totally false uh the butt pads real good shape as they are a lot of barkings on this side that's that's cool a lot of good ones it is the M80 MLE AT74, and you can see with the wire brush they did on the stock as they do. And I can't tell whose that one is, but we will look it up and find out which, uh, what that says. Is it going to be the Emperor or the Empress, either uh, Menelik or Takei? I don't want to mispronounce her name because she was a super awesome lady. So let's pop her open and yeah, yeah, look at that as normal, just, just the dirtiest board, but these guns are a hundred years old. Let's see. Yeah, we'll clean it good. And of course we'll check the head spacing. The uh, extractor's in there. It's not broken. So that's awesome. Uh, I can't take the bolt out to inspect the bore because you have to have a screw to do that. Actually, um, we can uh, hold and fade back in. Yeah, that's right. Mosin bayonet. Can't go wrong having a Mosin laying around the shop because it has so many uses. So let's use this Mosin bayonet to pop this screw. Yeah, just like that. Screw comes right out. Ooh, dirty, dirty. Look at that. Super dirty. This thing was crusty. Let's slide this dirty bolt out. And check the bore. 
Whoa! Look at all the rifling in this thing. Wow, we. Uh, it has a butt load of rifling. I don't think there's going to be any way that we'll be able to show you on camera without our bore scope. But that is surprising. I mean, this thing is the rustiest one. We're going to boil it. Uh, definitely take it apart and boil this one. And uh, we, you'll be seeing this one again come to the range. And it definitely freed up one that does not have a rear sight for my cousin to manufacture rear sights. And then I will make a video as soon as those rear sights are in production. So y'all can get y'all some to put on your guns. I hope you enjoyed seeing this unboxing today. It was real quick. Just wanted y'all to see another Calvary Gras carbine. Check out some of my other videos or some of my other unboxings. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and bayonet that bell for more content. <laughs>